everybody, just a little what's happening video so you can kind of keep up with what I've been doing lately, which has been a lot. Um, I recently just had my very first Juried Art Festival, which is something I've never done before, so that was really exciting. Um, the weeks leading up to that were really hectic, trying to get all of my paintings together. Um, I uh, had to go over to my mentor's house who is lending me um, his 10 foot by 10 foot tent, which thank God for that. Um, uh, we did a test setup, um, so I had to make sure I knew how to do all of that. And um, yeah, so it was really hectic leading up to it. And then the day of, I, um, I woke up at 5.30. I got all my, packed the car, got all my stuff together. Um, my mom came to help me set up, so we were there in Stouffville um, by 8 a.m. Um, setting up the tent and unwrapping all of my paintings because the previous night I had spent hours wrapping up all of my paintings in bubble wrap to make sure that they're well protected. Um, so unwrapping that once we got there, um, hanging all of them in the right um, way that I wanted it, um, it to go. and. Yeah, so um, thank you to my mom for coming to help me do that because that was an, a huge help. I would not have been able to do that by myself. Next time I will remember to bring a dolly because the grid balls are so heavy and we were trying to walk back and forth, but luckily one of the vendors who was next to us had a dolly and she let us borrow it, so thank you um, for that. Uh, and yeah, so the actual the actual art show went pretty well. I mean, sales weren't amazing. I think that a lot of people were there just kind of like as a casual fun thing to do in, on a Saturday afternoon and not serious art purchasers, but I wasn't really expecting anything too huge anyways. Um, and it was a good experience for me to be um, learning how to talk about my work and just engaging with people about my work. and. And it was kind of funny because I had a lot of people ask me if there was more than one artist, um, more than one artist's work in my tent just because my paintings were just all over the place. I mean, I had my whole food section where I had the Canada 150 food series and then also all my little, like 40 of my little 3x3 three three paintings. But then I also had, you know, like a kind of oil impressionist floral painting over here and like a like high realism acrylic landscape over here and and just like you know my work was so all over the place so I'm hoping that as my art shows go on I kind of start narrowing down the uh, subject matter at least so that people aren't asking me if you know if I'm crazy <laughs> um, but yeah, people were giving me a lot of compliments, which was really encouraging, so that was great. And um, a lot of people took my business cards, which showed that they were interested in my work, which was really nice too. And um, a bonus was that I ended up winning the People's Choice Award for the show, which was really awesome. So thank you to everybody who voted. Um, yeah, so I think that all in all, it was a very good um, first time art festival experience and I hope that um, I can have that the sales can get better as I go on but I think it's all just a learning experience you know and also talking to other vendors while I was there and um, seeing what what art shows they recommended um, that are you know that they've had success in in the past so I've got like lots of actually a list here of um, my neighbor who um, wrote all these ones down for me, so lots of research to be done uh, for the next art shows that I'll be applying to like next year and stuff. And yeah, so my next art show is on June 25th. It's the Kensington Market Art Fair. Um, unfortunately, it's on the Pride Parade, which I was I was pretty disappointed about just because I really wanted to participate in the Pride Parade this year. Um, so, in the spirit of pride, I'm d I decided that I'm going to do some more food paintings, more colorful, and kind of bring in those rainbow colors and kind of spread the love and with my colorful food paintings. Um, so I think that for that I will be, I kind of went from one extreme, which was the tiny little 3x3 three three canvases, to the next extreme, which was you know, the 24 by 24 food paintings. So I think that um, for this show I want to kind of 
meet somewhere in the middle, maybe do like a 10 by 10 paintings, um, food paintings, um, just because they're more affordable and a lot of people were interested at the, my previous art shows, they loved the food paintings. So I think that that's going to be a theme that I'm going to stick with for the Kensington Market Art Fairs. And other than that, um, I am now beginning to start slowly knocking off some of the names on my commission list. Starting from um, the smallest and least time-consuming commissions, which happen to be a lot of the 3x3 food paintings. And I've gotten a lot of requests for the tiny 3x3 avocados. Um, those, that one seemed to be a really popular one, so I actually today made three of those. Three little tiny 3x3 avocados, so they're super cute all together. Um, and then I will be... Um, building up my inventory for next art show, working on bigger commissions, slowly getting um, that list, you know, a little depleted. And I'm also in the midst of um, developing some reproductions of my lively hilltop globe painting. And for those of you who didn't know that was the name, it's the daisy one with the daisies and the sunset that seemed to be pretty popular. And um, yeah, so. Uh, my mentor, Tim Packer, is going to be um, teaching me how to go through the entire printing process. Um, last week when I was there, we had a meeting and he kind of showed me the process of photographing my work. And he's got all the fancy um, equipment to do that. And it was a bit overwhelming because I don't really know anything about that. He's telling me all these tools and all this stuff on the computer. and. It was kind of going right over my head, but I'm sure I'll, I'll catch on eventually. Um, and he's going to be teaching me the actual printing process um, to make reproductions of my work. So that's an exciting next step for me. Um, so this Daisy um, painting that I did, I'm going to be making a 100 print limited edition of that. Um, so the first 10 of the 100 prints are going to be um, hand embellished. Um, hand embellished G clay prints on stretched canvas and so those are going to be only the first 10 and then from 11 to 100 those prints are either going to just be um, the regular 24 by 36 on stretched canvas or I will be also offering it in a smaller size on fine art paper as well so if you're interested in that um, just leave a comment below or um, go on my website and leave me a message. Um, yeah, and so that is what's been happening lately. Um, I hope that you enjoyed being caught up on what I've been doing. Um, if you have any questions or comments, then yeah, just leave one below. If you liked this video, if you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. And yeah, so I'm Brooke Cormier and I'll see you next time.